Hey guys, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plants, and today I am planning the week of March 12th through March 18th in my Erin Codron Life Planner. Um, it is St. Patty's Day week, so I will be using a semi-St. Patrick's Day kit. Um, it is this luck kit from Inky and the Brain, and I am super excited about that. This is my first time using a kit from this shop, but Esley, the owner, is honestly like the sweetest person, and I do have a coupon code for my subscribers, which I will put in the links down below. Um, I also have some washi pulled out that matches with this. I am just so feeling the hot pink and the green for this. So I'm going to get started by putting down some bottom washi and top washi. I will be pulling in a little bit of gold foil as well this week. I have been going like foil crazy. I have so much stuff coming and I am just like so obsessed with foil right now. So got to do that. Um, the washi is from Michael's. So I don't really have like that much going on this week. Things are kind of like slowing down at work because I was like really trying to hustle and get everything done just in case the baby came a little bit early. Um, and I just, yeah, so I just don't have like a ton of pre-planning to do. And like, honestly, I was like putting in some of those meetings later in the week and I'm like, maybe I hope I have a baby by then or you can cook a little bit longer. I don't know. My first was born at 38 weeks and that like totally skews your perspective on things when your first is early. So I am using the date covers from the kit and then foil date dots from Rose Shadow Collection. So I'm just going to flip over and do the same thing on the other side here. So last week I tragically lost all of my plan with me filming footage so I did not have a plan with me last week but I decided to just do a plan as I go week and I showed how I use my Erin Codron every day like how I get from like the minimal amount of pre-planning I do to like a complete almost no white space spread every week plus use my bullet journal and um, if you didn't watch that I will link it down in the description below so check that out and let me know what you thought I am thinking that I might want to do some more of those they're actually pretty easy to put together and I had a lot of fun doing it and it really helped keep me on task as well so I will definitely be doing that again soon absolutely love what I did for the sidebar last week so I'm gonna keep going with something similar to that I'm um, using the quote box uh, which says make your own luck and one of these flat foiled flags from station stickers in this pink um, so cute I'm like really just feel in the foil as I have been saying um, so what I did was like I tried to bring in a little bit more like white space just like teensy tiny space strips of white space in between things and keep everything with the really square edges um last week and i really like how that turned out so i'm going to keep going with that so i am going to use a habit tracker this week i don't use one every week but i did some serious damage on etsy last week like seriously with new releases and simply gilded and just like everything going bananas so i um need to do a no spend this week or at least an etsy no spend um we'll see how that goes and then i am gonna pull in my weekly ombre for my instagram posts and a to-do list um i did just use the long to-do list i don't really know that i have like that many to do's to be honest i like tried to plan things out so that the next few weeks are like more chill now that i'm like really, you know, full term, um, just in case, like you don't want to have to depend on anything. But so I did, it fit in nicely and I was still able to leave like a teensy bit of space at the bottom to do my, um, word of the week, which I've been really just feeling that. And I, I really enjoy having that, um, down there. It's just like a kind of focus on something for the week. So I am going to keep going with that. Okay, so I'm ready to pop this open and do my day by day. So I decided to try something a little different for my naps and nannies washies this week. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and run um, a strip of washi that's from Michael's across the whole um, half of the week and just cut it at either end instead of um, doing like the individual strips. I've been trying to save the washi in the kit to do like more squaring off and stuff because um, I really like the way that that looked and to do the headers and this kit has a good amount of washi but like not um, not infinite and there was only pattern washi no solid washi so I wanted to make sure I had enough to get through the week. So I don't actually have any plans or anything scheduled on Monday, but I decided uh, a heart checklist would be a good way to start the week. I can put any to-dos for the day or any little meetings that come up um, right in there as usual. 
Then I am just going to pop down my meal little things for this half of the week, and I am using all three colors that came in the kit in the order. Um, there are three of each colors, but it just looks really nice with the dark pink, green, light pink anyways. And next up, I do have like a longer series of meetings this week um, for work. And the first one is on Tuesday morning. So I am going to use half boxes to mark all three of those. They are on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Then Wednesday mornings, as usual, story time at the library. Um, and I am going to use the scallops for my daughter's activities this week. Although actually, um, like a little bit of a weird schedule this week, and this is actually the only thing I know in advance for her. So I will um, use those throughout the week if we end up doing any other fun activities. So then, as I said, the next one in that meeting series is Wednesday afternoon. Um, so I'm just putting that down with the half box again. And then after that, I do have another chiropractor appointment. So I am going to mark that down using a little thing and I will uh, cover up the star with a, uh, a character sticker. So that's actually all I have for the first half of the week. So I'm going to grab my icons and character stickers. Um, this little Instagram camera is from Hello Petite Paper. Um, this little is scribbler is from Scribble Prince Co. Um, and it is from the freebie, the St. Patrick's Day freebie theme one. And she's holding a little coin. So I thought that was appropriate. And then here I have another scribbler laptop girl and a uh, a little doodle laptop from Hello Petite Paper as well. And then a Once More With Love, a Mommy and Me Reading Munchkin to Mark story time. Then I just grabbed another scribbler for my Cairo. That's like a massage slash Cairo one um, that came on a freebie as well to use that. So just flipping things over and I'm going to do my meal little things for the second half of the week. Um, I will be using three of the dark pink colors since I went in order of the kit um, but I actually really like all of them at first I wasn't like super into these icons because I like I don't I usually like them to just be like the solid color but now um, looking at them when they're all in I actually really like the way that they look and the cute little fork and everything and like the kind of flag look anyway then I did the same thing for the nap swashy on this side I just ran it straight across the top so I do have like a little meeting on Thursday afternoon and I am going to put that down like the same way I usually do with a, I'm actually going to use a two heart checklist. Um, I didn't realize that on the rose color days, uh, heart checklist, foiled heart checklist, the bottom row is actually two hearts. So I decided to just go with that. Um, and then it fit perfectly with the timing, um, for my doctor's appointment. That's Thursday afternoon as well. So on th Friday, I have the last of the meeting in that series, so putting that in with the squared off full box as well. And then I decided to do something different to mark my weeks this week. Um, I just wanted to use another one of those foiled flags, so I put that down from Station Stickers along with my 38 week sticker, which I made myself. And then I'm just gonna um, like layer in a little bit of washi there and a foil icon that's also from Station Stickers. I bought like a bunch of the baby foil icons um, that are totally cute. So I got a bunch of blues and greens in those. Um, I am having a little boy, and yeah, I think that that's you're gonna see a lot more of that stuff in some upcoming spreads but anyway I am now I'm just laying down some more um, washi from Michaels and I'm gonna put um, a weekend banner down I'm actually gonna use a foiled weekend banner from Rose Shadow Collection instead of using uh, the weekend banner in the kit just to add another pop of a uh, sparkle to the week's spread so I'm going to add a full box in on Saturday to mark that it is St. Patty's Day. I already used my gold foiled St. Patty's Day sticker, so I'm just going to put that in with a scallop and write it in. And then I'm using a scribbler from the St. Patty's Day freebie to mark that. And then a once more with Love Munchkin on that meeting and a uh, scribbler doctor's appointment doctor uh, for that as well. So then I'm just popping this open and I'm adding in some more of those gold foiled stars that I just like had that I found from forever ago. I don't know where they're from, um, but I have like a bunch of moon and star stickers. So I was just kind of adding those in um, to add a little bit more sparkle to the week. 
So that is everything. Um, I really love how this turned out. Like I said, not a super busy week. I am going to pop the camera off and fill this out and then I will be right back. Okay, so that is everything all filled out. I think this looks like so cute and fun. I'm really excited about this. Um, I Most of the stickers are from the kit. Um, the washi is from Michael's. This flag and this gold foiled uh, baby carriage is from Station Stickers. Um, the weekend banner and the date dots are from Rose Colored Days. The scribblers are all from Scribble Prince Co. And the munchkins are once more with love. The word of the week is calm and I did that in my Tombow dual brush pen um, number 755. Um, the rest of the writing I tested out a few different uh, pens on the stickers since this is the first time I've done a kit from Inky in the Brain but I decided the Sharpie Ultra Fines wrote the best on the stickers. I love her premium matte paper. It feels so nice um, but the Sharpie was still my favorite pen with that and I'm going to be using this hot pink and this green this week for that and then for in the planner I wrote in a um, Paper Me Ink Joy pen and I have one of these in pink as well. And then I also grabbed um, some flares in case I wanna mix it up during the week. Um, really, the color scheme on this was really easy and I kinda missed the color after not doing it last week, so I decided to do that again. Um, that is everything. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd love it if you'd subscribe and check me out on Instagram at my crafty plans to keep up with what I am getting up to during the week. And I may actually film some more plan as I go type stuff. I had a lot of fun with that week. If you haven't watched the videos yet, um, I'll link them below. So check them out and let me know what you think. If you want to see more of that, I'm happy to do more of that. Um, it was actually really fun and pretty easy to put together. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.